Hey, what's happening, guys? This is Tiro back with another video. And today, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install the Nitrogen OS based on Android 8.1. And let's flash and see how is it. So, without further delay, let's make it happen. So, first, we need to go to this official Nitrogen OS XDA thread. Now, click on testing version. From here, click on this 8.1 folder, download the latest build. All the important links to flash this ROM will be listed in the description box below, so do not worry. Now we have to download the gapps from this Android file host website as of now because 8.1 gapps is not yet available in opengapps.org, but in future you can download that when it's available. But as of now, do not flash 8.0 gapps over this ROM it won't work i am on the pixel experience rom right now so let's switch off the phone and press the volume up and the power button together to boot into dwrp recovery once you are booted into dwrp recovery go to wipe then advanced wipe wipe cache dalvik cache system and data once done, go back, go back, go to install, locate the ROM and gapps file and swipe to confirm flash and wait for the time being. I am using official twrp 3.0.2 slash 2 here. Once done, hit reboot system. and wait for the time being again so as we are booted up in the system let me set everything up in the meantime let's talk what's working geo4g vault calling mobile data wi-fi camera fingerprint scanner torch hotspot etc are working fine but do note that goodix fingerprint scanner is not yet working These are the stock apps this ROM comes preloaded with, except UC Browser and the Google Wallpaper app. They are there because I am restoring my Google App Data Backup. Now let's talk about the features. This ROM offers a ton of them. By scrolling to the bottom in the settings, you will find personalization options. Tap on it. You will see from here you can customize status bar, quick settings panel, buttons, navigation bar, gesture, lock screen, power menu, recent apps panel, notifications and a whole lot more. Watch me going through them one by one. I won't speed it up because some of you guys previously asked me not to do that. Let me take a quick picture to give you guys an idea about the picture quality.
Here is an example of Geo 4G Vault call in working. Brightness control by moving a finger on the status bar is working fine. Double tap to sleep on the status bar is working fine and other customization options are working fine too. But I can't talk about the battery life yet because it's too early to comment on that part. I will let you guys know later about this. You can follow me on Twitter or Facebook for that. The ROM is pretty good in my opinion and the great thing is the ROM gets updated almost daily. So huge thanks to the developer for that but I am not sure if it supports OT updates yet. Here we have the Oreo biscuit icon and the right shifted power menu and other things like the previous ROM video I did of Pixel Experience 8.1 ROM. If you haven't checked that out, check it out right now from the card. All the 8.1 features from that are present here too. And this is a unique Nitrogen OS feature which shows in-depth charging status in the bottom of the lock screen while you charge your phone. So that wraps up this video guys, hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel right here if you like my work. Check out other videos from my channel from the card right here. So that's been it. That's pretty much it. This is Silo signing off. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye now.